Young E Nace's latest track, Game Over, has sparked significant controversy. It appears to be a direct celebration of the death of his rival, Julio Fulio. The two rappers have been entangled in a vicious feud for years, marked by violent exchanges and relentless disses. Tragically, Fulio's death seems to have further fueled Ace's antagonism, rather than bringing any sense of closure. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like and comment on this video. If you'd like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! What are the controversial lyrics of Game Over? Within a few hours of Fulio's passing, Young Yin Ace released Do It, a song that many listeners interpret as a brazen boast about orchestrating a hit. While Ace avoids explicitly naming Fulio, the insinuations are clear, and he seems fully aware of how his lyrics would be perceived. This pattern of provocation continued with Ace's subsequent release, Game Over, on June 28th. The title alone suggests a morbid finality, and the lyrics are even more explicit in their taunting nature. In Game Over, Ace raps, Dead on the floor, dead on arrival. Mr. Six, I'm steady screaming out, F the long, F the six. This verse is widely believed to reference Fulio, who was part of Six Block, and the numbers mentioned throughout the song are too specific to be coincidental. The song begins with Ace declaring, Y'all know I smoke dead people, man. Y'all know what I'm saying. And I smoke six. Ha ha. Leaving little doubt that this is about his target. The most provocative lines detail the circumstances of Fulio's death. 556 increased the murder rate. Another body on the way. Mask on, get up close, this is another closed case. Don Julio shots to the face. By likening Fulio's death to taking shots of Don Julio tequila, Issa's words are seen not only as disrespectful, but also deeply insensitive. Previous diss tracks of Young Ines against Fulio. Those who don't know how far back the animosity between Young Ines and Fulio goes, well, they've been beefing for a decade but it escalated dramatically following a series of violent incidents. The tension reached a lethal peak in May of 2017 with the murder of Zion Brown, Fulio's 19-year-old cousin. This brutal act ignited a chain reaction of bloodshed and retaliation. In June 2018, Young Yin Ace was the target of a retaliatory shooting during a birthday celebration. Though Ace survived after being shot eight times, the attack claimed the lives of three others, including his brother. Julio took to social media to glorify the massacre, even mocking the deaths by creating a t-shirt featuring images of Asa's brother and friends. The violence only escalated. In February of 2019, Julio's younger brother, the 16-year-old rapper Bibby, was gunned down at an apartment complex. That same year, both Julio and his girlfriend were injured in separate shootings, highlighting the relentless and pervasive nature of this vendetta. Adding fuel to the fire, ATK gang member and rapper k displayed images of fallen KTA members on the cover of his album Bibby Out. k arrest in March for Bibby's murder came after he publicly boasted about the killings, taunting KTA by claiming that he was smoking Bibby. Each name in k song represents a slain rival, a grim roll call intended to further humiliate Julio and his allies. Has Young In previously released diss tracks against Julio? Young Inez has a history of releasing diss tracks following the deaths of KTA members. This pattern of provocative behavior has been the hallmark of Ace's career. After the death of Teki, a close associate of Julio and a member of his gang, KTA, Young Inez released the track, Who I Smoke. The song samples Vanessa Carlton's A Thousand Miles, juxtaposing its lighthearted melody with grim lyrics about the fates of Julio's friends. The song specifically mentions Techie and other deceased members of Fulio's crew, mocking their deaths with graphic and disrespectful language. Another instance is the song Step Harder, released after the death of Zion Brown. In this track, Ace doesn't hold back, explicitly referencing Brown's death to assert his dominance. Young Ying even released the diss track Do It only a few hours after Julio passed. This came as such a huge shock to the hip-hop fans harsh criticism on Young In's songs. The release of diss tracks by Young In post Julio's death has gained widespread condemnation from fans and fellow rappers alike who view this act as inhumane and insensitive. 
Young Ace's latest releases have ignited a storm of reactions, with many critics condemning it as murder music that should not be promoted. The music for Do It and Game Over quickly became one of Ace's most watched, amassing millions of views and igniting a heated debate on social media. One user commented the Don Julio bottle in the video is diabolical, while another remarked, claiming bodies has to be the dumbest flex in history. Criminal lawyers' reaction to Young Eames' diss tracks. The controversy around these diss tracks is reminiscent of the long-standing feud between Young Eames Ace and Fulio, which has played out in both their music and the streets of Jacksonville. Previous diss tracks like Fulio's When I See You and Ace's Who I Smoke became viral hits as they taunted each other over their losses. Notably, in January 2021, pop singer Vanessa Carlton defended the use of her hit A Thousand Miles in Who I Smoke. The release of Do It and Game Over has not only stirred public outrage, but also caught the attention of law enforcement. Popular criminal lawyer Bruce Rivers reviewed the track on his YouTube channel, advising that Tampa authorities could use it as evidence. Rivers stated, If they can link Young Ian Ace to any kind of case related to this, this is coming into evidence. We're going to have more killings just because it's going to fuel it even more. If you dance close to the sun, you're going to get burned. Although Young Ian Ace is not currently considered a suspect in Fulio's murder, the implications of his lyrics have not gone unnoticed. Tampa Police Chief Lee Bergkaw has guaranteed that arrests will be made soon in the Fulio case. The ongoing investigation and the provocative nature of his songs have placed Ace under increased scrutiny. And with this, we've come to the very end of this video. Tell us in the comments below, do you think that diss tracks should become a thing of the past in the hip hop genre? Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all future content. Thanks for watching. Until next time.